One of my favorite things about the car is it's a Roadster body, but it's quite large. I mean, it's very large. It's about double the size of a Ford Roadster body. Another cool item about this car is the golf hatch. This actually holds golf bags. Doesn't You don't hide your children. Well, you could, but it's for your golf bags. If you'd like to follow me around to the other side, I'll show you a couple more things. All right, now we're to the other side of the vehicle. I got Gary here buttoning up this door. We're gonna make sure that the lines and everything uh, the meet up and the, uh, the door shuts nicely. Sounds good to me. These are some of the particulars that we try to keep in line here are the body lines of the vehicle. Very hard on these pre-war cars because they weren't perfect to begin with. Let's see if I can get the door to open properly. Hey, okay. swings nicely. What's cool about the Stutz as well in this area is that it's all wood vehicle. Throughout the whole inside is all wood and wood frame. They actually take the sheet metal here and they, they hand beat it into submission with hammers and dollies to get over the framework of the car. This is actually a bead roll, which is a die that goes up underneath the sheet metal to create this body line. On the door here, this is actually lead. Because it's aluminum, aluminum is very fragile. When you put it on a bead roll, it'll crack and get messed up. Three quarters of the car from the bonnet back is aluminum. The firewall and bonnet forward is all sheet metal. So it's very interesting. You know, you have a mixture of lead, aluminum, and sheet metal in this car. Another neat feature on this car is the rumble seat. This car actually had a lot of damage right here from you know 70 years of people stepping in and out of this car. So we did an extensive amount of work here restructuring this area. But a rumble seat or a mother-in-law seat, what it is, it's a couch in the wind. We have a couple other projects we'd like to take a look at, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be back.